Hello and welcome back to the Game Dev Broth podcast. I am Deep Raccoon and I'm joined, like always, by my brother and co-host Ben BB. Hello, ladies. Here I am. So we are back from holidays, and uh, we actually tried to record a podcast for uh, the previous scheduled podcast. And uh, to kind of say it quickly, we are kind of supposed to be releasing a podcast every two weeks. Uh, and we missed on purpose uh, one in August, and then we were supposed to do one on the second week of September. But I guess it, uh, it kind of failed, yes. Yeah. Basically, we recorded, we for reasons that we'll talk about later, uh, we were not at home. Uh, and we had to record it with my laptop, and uh, we started recording. It looked like it worked pretty well, but I mean, we even had an issue in between, but anyways... The problem was that we were recording directly with the microphone of my laptop, and for some reason it decided to uh, sometimes focus on one of our voices and sometimes focus on the other voice, meaning that the other voice, like the second voice, would be completely cut off and we couldn't hear anything. Yeah, as you said, it's impressive that it does that, right? Yeah, we were just basically both in front, kind of like side by side. Uh, in front of the, the laptop and yet somehow it would sometimes decide to pick up one and not the other so i think i think it somehow compensates for for um like uh, misplacement of the of the mouth i would say yeah. and because we were each on, a, on one side then it would compensate and on like, one side uh, and then compensate on the you, other yeah but then i would be almost muted and at some point, you would decide to pick me up, my voice up, and then you would be muted. So yeah, it was. It might be just yeah. a left, left and right, like stereo thing. Yeah, maybe there's two mics or something. I have no clue. But uh, but yeah, I mean, there is some kind of code there. Maybe if we knew, we could have um, deactivated it for the sake of. Maybe uh, yeah, maybe there is a way to deactivate it. I don't know. I guess because that's not something that yeah. the mics do by themselves, right? It's something. I, that I assume that by default. Program, yeah. so. I assume that it's, it's made there. for a uh, noise reduction overall. No, and to better catch your voice, right? Yeah. I mean, it's That's... a pretty cool thing, but um, yeah, if we have known, probably would have um, disabled it. Or at least tried, yeah. Well, yeah, well anyways, so... It doesn't matter. Yeah. So anyways, today we're going to have like somewhat of a special episode where we're just going to yeah. talk about uh, like our holidays and... Uh, now that we're back, what's going on with us, kind of a little bit of an update. And then we'll finish up just talking about uh, the games we'll be playing and uh, what we're looking forward to, basically. Yeah, yeah, and a lot has, has happened um, in the in the meantime, in the time we weren't recording. So we've got lots to talk about. All right, so yeah, I'll let, I'll let you start. So what do you want to start first, on the holidays or...? Yeah, um, I guess we can start games. with the holidays. Yeah, so... I mean, yeah, I don't know where we left out last time, but yeah, I mean, holidays have been pretty long. I mean, considering, um, I mean, we don't have a job, so like it kind of blends together. But um, uh, now I have a job. I'll, I'll discuss yep. that a bit later. It's one of the updates. But yeah, that's one of the updates. But uh, yeah, I mean, the holidays were pretty pretty relaxed. Like um, I had the chance to visit a few friends um, in different countries, so in France and. And then we went to, to Spain together as well. Yeah. Um, we also saw the family there. We did a bunch of surfing. And overall, it was nice. Like We have a few anecdotes that we could share, but uh, I don't know if you feel like uh, you want to dive into the details or <laughs> or not. Well, I mean, I guess a little bit we could. Yeah, I mean, I, what, I guess. The, the fun one, the fun one that uh, I like to tell, um, it's... So the first trip I did was I went to um, to the Alps. I mean, not the Alps, the Jura. I don't know how you translate that in in English. It's like That's a mountain range, mountain range close to the Alps in France. Yeah. Um, and I went there to visit some friends, and those friends are mountain people. <laughs> yeah. And by that, what I mean is like they have lived there all their lives, and they do like they are very sporty. Like they do a lot of exercise in the mountain. So they do skiing, they do mountain climbing, they do hiking, 
Uh, they run on the mountain. They do. I mean, they do mountain bike. They do all the all crazy stuff, right? Yeah. And I like to do those stuff as well, right? Um, but obviously, I'm not as prepared uh, physically as they are. And you're still like pretty uh, fit for most people. I, I mean, yeah, I guess for for most people that don't do sport regularly, <laughs> because because if I if I compare myself to any anyone that is in a club of uh, of uh, I don't know football or martial arts or what what not, um, yeah. I'm below the average for sure. But it's true that like, but I would say you're still other, like above average. If you take I mean, everyone I, in the account. the groups of friends that we have, I've always been one of the most fit, I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, this is different with this group of friends because they are really, really uh, Yeah, it's like the opposite. And yeah, so it's a nice change, you know, to this time I'm, I'm not the one waiting for the others. They are waiting for me because I, I, I'm not able to keep pace with them. But yeah, um, so the, the the story is that okay, we did we did uh, a day of of uh, mountain hiking, and everything went well. And then we were planning for the next right, and they were saying, yeah, what we could do is we could go for cheese, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know if you know about that region a little bit, but yeah, I mean, they have very nice cheeses there, and I'm very fond of them as well. So it really sounded like something fun, yeah. and yeah, we were discussing this. Uh, and at some point, um, I, I like it came to my mind that uh, my friends are not regular people, and what they would consider like a, a, a doable hike would could be like a bit more than doable, yeah, <laughs> a bit a bit harder than expected. So I asked, "How many kilometers is it?" And they said, "Well, it's twenty to go, twenty to come back." So keep in mind, so it's to go shopping for cheese, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, that was uh, the and idea. It, it's in the mountains, so yeah. you have to th go through some. And mountains. it's not flat ground, yeah. No, it's not flat ground at all. And the like the height difference that you do, it's a little bit below uh, two thousand meters, right? Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's a lot. I mean, I I don't know. I guess like really trained people, like they they can do that easily, but I guess for normal people, uh, that would be a, quite a lot. It is, um, it is quite a lot, yes. So at some point, I said, well, I I'm not sure. If I uh, am able to do it, it's like a big leap for me because the other hikes that I have done in my life were like 15 kilometers, things like that. So never like so yeah. pro go from 15 uh, to, to like 40. 40 yeah. yeah, it's more than double. I, I was like, well, maybe this is a bit too much. And they say, well, maybe you're right. So let's do another one. Yeah. And we decided on doing another one. And I was like, okay, I mean, they... they um, they received the message and we're going to do another one and it's always going to be fine. So I didn't ask yeah. too much about the new one because they were as sure that it was shorter and easier. So the next day we took the car, we went uh, to the next town, left the car there and started uh, hiking up the mountain, right? Yeah. And yeah, we were going on a, on a nice pace. I mean, we brought food and, and water and everything because it, we knew it was going to do be a full day hike. Kind yeah, it was thing. still a long although, hike, but it was supposed to be I think long, I, like I, shorter. Yeah, I, although I did not, I think I did not tell you this before, but uh, we were supposed to go to a, a board game, um, a, a board game meeting. Yeah. Uh, afterwards, so uh, like uh, in the like in the late evening. We're supposed yeah, yeah. So to we're go supposed there. to like, yeah, do yeah, the hike so, and then know, still make it to the. Yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah. Come back at home at six, take a shower, and then at seven be at the at the thing and play some board games with with people, right? Yeah, that was the plan. So where we started a lot of that, and yeah, I mean, already before, when we got, I was already kind of uh, quite tired, but I thought, but and then I asked, well, I mean, I guess we've done half of it, right? And they were like, no, no way. And <laughs> already before lunch, I was like kind of like dragging behind. Yeah. And then, like after lunch, yeah, a bit, a, like one hour after, after, like picking up our stuff and starting to to move again, I started to be exhausted. And keep it, it was also like a day that was very, very sunny, so yeah, like, the heat and worse. everything. Yeah, um, and it was like suffer. It was that uh, like a so continuous sufferance for me. Yeah, but like I uh, at some point they were like, yeah, I mean. We could shorten it this this way and that way, and I was like, 
no, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. And in the very, at the very last, like I, I couldn't even walk. I was like, every step of mine, I would yeah. advance like half the half the length of one of my feet, right? Uh, because it was so tired. I was like walking like a like a very old grandma or something. Yeah, yeah. So you and literally also couldn't. With, yeah. yeah, I couldn't walk. I, I was with a using a stick to to help me. You know, like I think I gave I gave my no, I didn't have a um, I didn't have backpack. a bag. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I didn't have a backpack. They were the ones um, carrying the weight all 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 the time. But yeah, I mean, the the like the last I don't know like the last ten kilometers were very very hard, and yeah, it, yeah. the the going down was very hard and I, like my muscles and my 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 legs were so painful yeah that like i i couldn't i couldn't just walk down slope right it was so painful um yeah, yeah and yeah, yeah. I, I, and actually they I, at that point they told me well there's another way to to go down i mean we were going down through the uh, following the poles of the of the ski ski um the yeah, ski slopes yeah. yeah the ski slopes right and so they they were pretty steep things and they were saying, well, there's another, there's another path, but it's, it's like 10 kilometers longer. And at that point I was like, no way. Like I prefer to suffer a little bit more and be home, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. be home the like, earlier, yeah. right now, earlier. Yeah. But yeah, I, I guess like when I, I arrived almost at the bottom, I couldn't, um, I couldn't take it anymore. And there was a road there and I just stopped there and they went for the car and they, they picked you up. It yeah. came for me. Yeah. But it was like the, the I skipped like. 300 meters or something like that yeah 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 but you literally couldn't walk more yeah I, it was like yeah i don't mind like 300 meters i don't mind i'm, I'm gonna sit here and you're gonna get the car yeah yeah it was that's crazy because that, that's even like that was supposed to be the shorter hike yeah and it, it was yeah so the distance was 35 kilometers yeah with 2000 meters of of uh, height difference so it might even yeah. have been worse because of the height difference yeah the height difference was a little bit um, yeah, but keep in mind that the high difference was maybe a hundred meters, a little bit more than a hundred meters more than the other. Yeah. But in the other, we would have had a, a lot of cheese in the backpacks, right? At least on the yeah, on the way back, yeah. On the way back, yeah. Yeah. And I, I mean, knowing myself and knowing my friends, we would each have bought a lot, right? We would not have just taken a small piece for the three of us. Yeah. So, like, maybe probably we would have. Uh, taking big backpacks each of us and yeah so i think but but yeah i mean and, and the thing is like so i was completely demolished and I, we were discussing this with uh, my friends and they were quite okay right they were like well and they were yeah, yeah, yeah i mean they were a bit sick of having to wait for me a lot of that uh although although they were very nice and on but I mean, it's understandable when you want to, especially when you have an appointment afterwards. We had to to cancel the appointment. I mean, because yeah, I think yeah, we arrived yeah. at nine and nine at nine p.m. I think we arrived at home at in the end. I don't remember exactly the hour, but yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. And discussing too late this the... afterwards, I mean, they were saying, well, uh, one of my friends he did the cheese thing in yeah. winter all by himself <laughs> to buy cheese, so he came back with uh, with the added weight of the cheese yeah and he and he bought cheese for like um whole family a lot of his friends because yeah, uh, yeah. he was going to a birthday party and he went when there was like a lot of snow and he went with uh is are they called rackets yeah i believe those so, yes. um yeah those kind of uh, flat things you put under your shoes to to work on on snow and those things i mean i've never done them but people tell me those things are like they are quite harder to than regular working on non-snowy uh yeah yeah definitely it's better to have snow. them if you're walking on slow but yeah if, you, if you're obviously walking on definitely snow, it's worse, worse than, than normal walking for sure yeah and like i mean those guys are crazy yeah so yeah i mean that was a funny experience i mean yeah it, it was a bit a bit hard on the moment but then uh, now that i think of it i find it funny and I, I actually want to do something like this again with them but maybe less hard of course yeah maybe a little bit I, in shorter the, in, in the yeah yeah, yeah. In the journey but at least like yeah uh, at least that night I, I i slept like a log it's funny how how fit you can get over time though when you realize that even 
that you can do certain things like so easily and other people yeah. could just not even do it yeah. at all. I mean, for them, for them, it's like I, I, the, the thing is, for them, it's it's natural, right? Yeah. I mean, they've done I it all mean, the time. Yeah, it was like they've got, I mean, since they were kids, they were going. They, they were walking all the time. Yeah. Yeah, but they walk. They run on the mountain as well. Uh, actually, they wanted to run at some points of the of the of the trip. They said running, uh, it's gonna be faster. And I was like, yeah, 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 but I'm I'm already too tired. I cannot run. Yeah. But yeah. And I mean, yeah, since they were kids, so for them it's natural. And because they see me and I'm not fat and I'm not, uh, you know, like I don't have any any health issues, they they think that I'm at the same level as them, right? Yeah. But that's not the case at all. <laughs> That's not the case. So, well. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, I don't know. I mean, I could give more more things, but we, I think we're going to get stuck on this. Yeah, yeah. Your turn. So I Your guess... turn to say something about the holidays and then. Yeah, I mean, move. I didn't have uh, any crazy thing, I guess. Uh, I went. Yeah, I don't know. So I basically, uh, before going to Spain with you as well, uh, I went to Portugal for a week with my dad. Yeah. Uh, we mostly visited and, and chilled. Uh, didn't do too yeah. much. Uh, it was okay. It was nice. And uh, yeah, that was basically it. Then we went to Spain. Uh, we met with some friends. Uh, we did some surfing. And uh, it was yeah. basically it, pretty much. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we could dive more into the details, but maybe we could... Uh... Yeah, no, I think it's, yeah. we didn't we didn't have that many like crazy stories, I guess. Yeah, nothing. I guess to compare crazy. a little bit, we did do a little bit of hiking uh, with yeah. some of your friends from uni. Yeah, and it was like the complete opposite. Like they were complaining constantly, and we did almost nothing. <laughs> yes, I don't know. We did like three hundred. 300 uh, meters in height difference or something like this right? yeah and maybe i don't know how much and was it maybe like eight kilometers i think it's even less yeah it's it's very short yeah they were complaining i mean but, yeah, yeah it was pretty warm so yeah but yeah, still it was pretty sunny warm. So that's always i mean we were sweating a lot and stuff but but yeah it was a really short trip and yeah and, but those guys i think they're not used to 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 hiking in the mountain so yeah yeah even less than i am <laughs> than we are yeah yeah yeah. So, yeah but yeah the the contrast is incredible between like i see what with other friends i'm like the the one that's always in front and like um and that uh, and never tired and yeah always want to do more and with the other with group, people like, from that, the mountain and, yeah from people from the, mountain, <laughs> yeah, and, and the one that's uh, dragging behind and it's yeah. complaining well i don't complain that much i don't i, I don't complain i just like suffer in silence and yeah, until you just can't make it yeah. <laughs> yeah kind of but yeah that's yeah, crazy crazy so are you playing uh, i think we skipped that uh just to move on yeah, yeah. are you playing a game right now uh so no i'm not actually playing anything i'm uh, like in the previous video we did uh that well the one that didn't work out uh i'm just watching the one that died salty bits yeah ah nice 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 yeah, and yeah. who's winning uh, uh optimus prime <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. maybe you should explain a little bit what it is oh um, yeah well fair enough yeah yeah so for those of you who don't know uh salty bet is basically so it's a stream that's on twitch 24 7 and uh, putting up fights of random people, well, random characters put in uh, in Mugen, Mugen. I don't know how it's pronounced. I say Mugen, but yeah. And it's basically so for the it's a basically an, a kind of uh, combat engine or just combat game uh, that has its uh, pre-made AI, but you can also change it. And the the good thing about this. Uh, kind of engine is that you can make all the characters you want and then you can either use the default uh, AI or just create your own AI or change at least the, the AI that, that exists and therefore yeah. you can see uh, this stream basically just does constant fights between random characters 
and then sometimes yeah. it has like tournaments and stuff and the idea if you go to their website uh you can uh, yeah. bet you can yeah you can bet on who's gonna win uh, with salt yeah it's not real money yeah and uh yeah that's mm. basically it and it's pretty fun and they have good music yeah. Yeah, it is pretty fun, and actually the stages as well are made by people. Yeah, that's and true. What's funny is that the universe that you can think of. Well, I mean, it's mostly focused on on manga, I have to say. Yeah, but um, but sometimes still, there is a lot of uh, other here. things as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't yeah, I would say that at Donald. least eighty percent are uh, from manga yeah. or anime. Manga from manga. Yeah, a lot of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure characters. Yes, and Dragon of, Ball uh, and stuff. Dragon Ball. Yeah, things and things that we don't know as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can sometimes find Mickey Mouse, Super Mario. Um, yeah, just some random like stick man as well. They're just yeah, could I be mean, anything. And the thing it is, honestly could be anything. The the funniest characters are the ones that are badly done in my opinion. <laughs> there, yeah, there's some funny. Ones. Sometimes you have like yeah. a fat Goku done in paint and it's too small for the like. Compared to the to the rest yeah of the yeah, guys. there's like also a lot of insh- inside jokes in the chat yeah that end yeah, up happening and one of the things is a uh, like hitbox scam, which is if you have yeah. a character that is super small, then the hitbox is so small that a lot of the attacks of the other uh, character are not gonna hit. <laughs> yeah, so you so then you can, can actually... win just doing pretty much nothing because uh, he's yeah. not getting hit. The idea is that you can actually grab, make a, a like a stupid character. Yeah. Um, probably base it around a known characters so that people will will like it, and just like uh, create some some moves and stuff, and then it could end up in in the yeah in the stream, right? Um, I mean, there I look, is some I filters, up, I think, and and they try certain things, but yeah. No, what happens? What happens is that it's not you don't put it on, so you don't submit it for them to put it. You you put it, I think, on a on. It's on a forum on a web page or something. Yeah, and they where, pick it up. And they pick it up, yeah. yeah. So you would put it on a web page that is for everyone to be able to download your character and play it. But because Mugen is not only for that, right? Mugen is uh, like a Yeah, a yeah, game you can just have the game yourself and play it. Yeah. yeah. Game Mugen is a game engine. It's a yeah. game engine only I, for I, yeah. 2D combat fighter games fighter like, game. Yeah. Yeah. And and like you can I mean I actually downloaded it and I downloaded some characters and stuff and I was able to play. And you can play against the AI, you can have two AIs play, uh, play together, and you can play with your friends as well, with uh, two controllers. Yeah. So, it, it, already yeah, it like that, it's like a fun, game, right? Yeah. Already like that, it's pretty fun. I think I didn't try with you because I didn't have my controller at that point or something. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, the idea is that you can... Basically you have want any to, character, yeah. Yeah, you can have a, like Son Goku against... Um, Kermit the Frog and, and Ronald McDonald and then this uh poser. Like the hardest part I think is that um to have characters that are a little bit um balanced. Yeah. Because as people can create their moves and can create stuff. Yeah, I uh, think that's also one of the reasons they don't just add everything. Yeah. There is some like filters when they choose and so on. Although and they, they have leagues, uh, right? a Yeah, they league. have they have different leagues, but just that's just based on how strong they are. Yeah. But then they have like different game modes, and one of the game modes is uh, I don't remember the name, but basically they can have some completely random characters, and in that, those game modes, I don't think it matters too much, either if it's too overpowered or something, or if it's really stupid. But in like the other in matchmaking and the tournaments, then they do try to get characters that are a bit more balanced and uh, better made, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. It times. I mean, we play together with friends, just betting, yeah. betting on drinks and having fun. And I mean, the idea is that you, to get hyped up about the characters, and you don't know if there's if the, yeah, there's not, almost right? no way to know who's gonna win. You have unless unless, unless you really beginning. know the characters, this yeah, which you probably don't. <laughs> but I, I think it, yeah, the idea it, it's it's more fun if you don't know the characters. Yeah, so you yeah. just Look at it for the first time. Is it done in paint? <laughs> uh, does it have uh, booby physics? Or and you decide based on that, right? <laughs> Basically, yeah. You decide based on that if you're gonna bet for him or not, and then you have to go with your choice and be hyped about your character. And 
And then, yeah, I mean, you discover the moves during the, the actual fight, so it's yeah, pretty yeah. exciting, pretty surprising sometimes. Yeah, it tends to be quite fun, yeah. Because a lot of unexpected things can happen. And the game can even break sometimes. Yeah. So it, it's quite fun. So anyways, yeah, let's uh, go back to the updates. Um, yeah. I mean, so I got a job, right? Yeah, you have the biggest the, update. I think the all. main thing. Yeah, so... Um, in their studio in Lisbon, so I moved there. And that's why... That's why uh, we were both, yeah. I yeah. went with him uh, to accompany him for the first two weeks, I guess. Since, like, I'm yeah. also I'm still looking for a job, then I don't really care where I am. Yeah. And yeah, so that's why we couldn't record the podcast, or at least why it went wrong, I guess. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, I'm still learning. I, I'm like, my my position is a junior engine programmer. Yeah. So right now what I'm doing is like fixing bugs and stuff, but still I mean, the tasks I'm doing are very minor and I often have to ask for help from more yeah. senior programmers. I like so you yeah, are, uh, yeah. The thing is, you are working uh, in, on Conan Exiles. On, on Conan Exiles, yeah, for sure. And, and it's a uh, huge game exactly, that has yeah. been around for so long, and the code base is huge. Uh, so just having to, 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 to figure out how things work in that huge yeah. code base can be a yeah. challenge. And right now, right itself. now, I think one of the problems I have is that. So, like, I have to fix a bug, right? Yep. And the bug, like, I look at the files and the files systems and I don't really understand their functioning and yeah so I have to guess a lot I have to try a trial and error um, so yeah I think I'm not that comfortable with that because I'm used to the other games I've done and the other projects I've been working on at university yeah. where small projects where we have been the ones doing everything yeah and mostly you uh, were there from the beginning so if anyone has yeah. a new script you, you know what it is. I mean, I had I had kind of the same feeling when I was working with Unreal because Unreal uh, does a lot of things for you, so yep. you don't know how they, it works uh, underneath. But when we were doing uh, our own games with our own game engines, then yep. I was always a, a part of the game engine team as well as, as gameplay. So e even when I was doing gameplay, I knew exactly what, what each system was doing. Yep. And if something was wrong, I could tell like very quickly if it where, where was it's coming from with the at system, least yeah. if the problem was with the gameplay if um if what i have to what i had to change sometimes i had to think it a little bit i had to make uh, diagrams and whatnot right but at no point i felt like i was completely lost and i don't didn't know what was happening right yeah you know of course the the, the code base was much smaller so but yeah it's a bit hard for me right now to to debug things without really knowing what's what yeah what does what, what does, and, right yeah. yeah so yeah but i'm learning and i guess uh i have to start somewhere and we'll see yeah and people are nice and the company seems nice so overall i'm happy uh, yeah what about you Sign, nice well i still don't have a job i guess i'm still looking I have, uh, I guess, I've had a few interviews and so on, so still things in the potential, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but not, nothing uh, for sure yet. I'm waiting for a few answers uh, at the moment that could be more promising, but uh, we'll see. We'll see, we'll yeah. see. You don't want to sell the skin of the goblin before laying the trap, right? I, I guess, <laughs> yes. For sure, yeah. Yeah. Other than that, well, nothing, nothing much. On holiday for the most part. Been working on some games now that I'm back uh, in Lisbon and so on. And uh, yeah, I mean, I guess now I'm back, so I'll I'll be more productive. I'll st start working on on my games a bit more. And uh, you're back with the regular schedule. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. That's that's about it. Okay. On my nice. side for sure. So I guess yeah, let's finish up with uh, what games we've been playing and what we're looking forward to. 
Yeah. So, um, can I start? Yeah, go ahead. So, right now, I'm playing um, Battlefield Gothic Armada, which is a uh, Warhammer 40k game about huge battleships in space. It's really a 2D game, right? But you can, I mean, the graphics are in 3D. Yeah. It's kind of a strategy, real time game. Um, and, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not the best game ever, but because I'm into 140k uh, as of late, uh, yeah, like I'm enjoying it. It's, I think, the voice acting is. Ambience in general is pretty, pretty good and transmits well, I think, what uh, Warhammer 40k is about. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it. And yeah, I have a funny anecdote about this game, which is that when I started playing, I uh, was, I don't know if uh, I already said that in another video, another podcast. Um, I don't think so. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, when I started playing, I was having trouble, right? I was uh, doing the missions and failing them. Uh, when you fail them, you can still play the next mission, like it, it doesn't block you. But of course, yeah. if you fail like 10 in a row, at some point, you're it's going to be hard to recover. Um, and I guess you can fi- end the game and maybe there's a bad ending. But yeah, I mean, that's not like the ending you would you want to get to, right? So I yeah, mean, I yeah. and and I watched some tutorials on YouTube and stuff. And what the tutorial said was that the most effective technique was to just ram uh, ram with your ships, the other ships. Yeah. Uh, if possible, with bigger ships, smaller ships. Um, and I started doing that. I started playing like... Uh, uh, the bump cars, how do you call them already? Yeah, yeah, the um, bump cars is what we yeah, got the bump last cars. time. And it works a lot better. So like now I'm winning most of my battles. And my strategy is like try to face the enemy all the time and whenever possible boost Just into go them. go head on, yeah. Yeah, and destroy them that way. Um, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it seems quite fun. Um, yeah, and that's it. And then, yeah, what I'm looking forward to. Uh, so, f- right now, I mean, I've got a huge list of games that I want to play. Yeah. Um, like, probably the next game I'm going to play is either Conan Exiles because I'm working on that game. And it's been a long time since I've played. Yeah. So, it could be nice to, like, refresh my memory a little bit and uh, know what I'm working mm-hmm. working with. Uh, but also, I may I may do those two things in parallel as well. Uh, I may play uh, No Man's Sky because a friend of mine said that oh, yeah, yeah, you he wants to yeah. play again, and I've never played it. Yeah, I'd be interested in playing out, with you as well. Yeah, I mean, we could I, play the three of us, yeah. probably. I, mean, I played it uh, a little bit, but uh, I'm interested in playing it again. Yeah. But yeah, when you... I was... I decided not to play it because it's so what people were saying about it. Yeah. But now, like, if the developers have made so much. They, yeah, they like, keep adding updates to add, it. Yeah, they added. The last update they added was to have, like, you could manage your own town in some random town that you find in planets now. Yeah. And then you become the, the overseer and you can just manage it. It becomes a management game, which is, it's just like. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Have to defend yeah, it against it, invasions and other stuff. It, it seems that so it, much it can be quite fun now. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that, and we'll see. Yeah, we'll have to see because I am uh, like the problems I had with that game when I played it uh, before was that it was still like very grindy. Yeah, and I was mostly when I played it, I was mostly focusing on on the main missions at first. And then after I was gonna focus on other stuff, but like you know, the the main mission also asks you to start your outpost, start your own base, and then whatever, whatever what little piece that you want to create needs so much. Okay. So I don't know. We'll have to see, but maybe I don't know. Maybe if I'll play, play if it. You play, like, if you play together. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can play in creative as well. Cool. So yeah. maybe that's an option. Is I don't that know. We'll see. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what the best option is. Yeah. Yeah. 
And so what about you? What are you playing right now, apart from Salty Bets? And what are you looking forward to? Yeah, I mean, I mean, right now, I guess I'm mostly playing Solasta. Uh, yeah. I've um, been playing quite a lot and recording uh, for the playthrough. Uh, I'm, I'm still enjoying it quite a lot. I'm going through the story. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to finishing it as well. <laughs> Not because I don't like it, but mostly just to be done with it, I guess. And uh, yeah, well, for now, it's been nice. Yeah. Uh, other than that, uh, I guess last weekend I played the open beta of uh, New World, which is kind of cool. And I've actually been thinking about the game decently. So I think I'm going to... And play it again. So we'll see. And so I guess I'm looking forward to that. Uh, other than that, I guess I... Uh, yeah, there's, uh, I guess, Deathloop that just released. The game from Arcane Studios. Yeah. I and the reviews are game. pretty good. Uh, so I'm actually quite interested in, in getting it as well. Might not play it now, but maybe in the future if it's... Uh, Tom at some other point, or I don't know if it's in in the Game Pass actually. If it is, because I might play it earlier. We'll see. And yeah, I mean the only thing about the the uh, so apparently on Steam is actually getting a review bombing uh, right. because of uh, of uh, DRM issues. Okay. So apparently on Steam, yeah. So apparently on PC it has a DRM software, which is known for. Uh, having performance issues, like causing performance issues on, on the game. So a lot of people are complaining about that. Okay. Which is uh, interesting. So a lot, everyone's pretty much saying that the game is, is decent, it's just annoying that they have to... Yeah. Which is kind of annoying, but yeah. And that reminds me of another problem that I had this summer with DRM. Uh, which is what I tend to do in, during summer. Uh, because we don't really have uh, too much access to internet or anything, I tend to yeah, download to try to look for small indie games that I can play in during the summer, and hopefully yeah. finish uh, at the same time in summer. So I did that, and uh, I prepared and I downloaded three little games uh, to play, and then I finished one of them. I enjoyed it. I played Carto, which is a pretty fun little game, and then I wanted to play the second game that I downloaded. And, uh, well, it had the DRM software and I couldn't play it, which was super annoying. Yep. Yeah. Even though I prepared, it's yeah. a single player game, I shouldn't necessarily need internet, but I just couldn't play it. Which was kind of annoying. Yeah, that's really annoying. You were using Steam or...? I was using, no, I was using the, the Microsoft Store, the Microsoft thing, the Xbox, the I don't know if that has something app, to, yeah. Something to do, but... yeah. But yeah, anyways, um... that was super annoying. Yeah, nowadays, develop it is kind of annoying. I don't, I don't think it's a, in this case, I'm not sure it's a, I don't think it's a developer thing. I think it was mostly the, the Xbox store Yeah. Uh, itself. Yeah, I remember, I recall that I had the same problem, I think, last summer. I, do you remember? I was playing uh, Minecraft in... in oh, um, the Microsoft version? Yeah, the the... Yeah, 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 then it might have been that as well, yeah. I think I think I, I played it for a little while and then I couldn't play it anymore because at some point it was like, yeah, you need internet access. Uh, yeah. I didn't have, so... So yeah, yeah, that was kind of annoying. And uh, I Another guess, Another yeah. reason to, to play Java. Yeah, I mean, for Minecraft, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, uh, other than that, there's going to be the Citizen Con. Next month, early next month, I think the 8th is start, which uh, I'm definitely looking forward to that. And yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Not a lot nice. more, I guess, happening. No. I mean, there's more games than looking forward, but there's like very much down the line, the future. Yeah. Because I'm still like... Uh... Get, getting my bearings here in a new city and and with my new job and everything so yeah not trying to plan too much ahead so right now i'm gonna finish this game then play 
got an exiles and, and and probably the other one with you, No Man's Sky, and then that's already gonna be for a long time, right? Yeah, that's already gonna take a while. I mean, Conan Exiles can be can take a lot of time by itself already. <laughs> yeah, it does. So, yeah. And I might also play, I guess, Valheim with some other friends uh, since the update came out. But we'll see. We'll see about that. Yeah, I mean, Just... Valheim. I'm. I would be up to that as well. I've never played it. I've seen a, lot, a bit of uh, gameplay, and yeah, it's cool game. It's cool game. Definitely it like it. Enough. Well, I guess that's it. Yep. So yeah, that was a uh, our special update episode, I guess. Yeah. And uh, and uh, yeah, well that's it. Thanks for listening, yeah. and uh, see you next time. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.